Hey everyone, so wheat harvest is underway here in Michigan, uh, a couple miles down the road from my house. We do not actually have any wheat to harvest this year, but our family friend does. So they're running now and I figured we'd go uh, check it out. So I got Charlie with me today, but it's a uh, little after eight o'clock now. Me and Austin actually came out here and uh, around seven o'clock and they were broke down. So Austin had to go to bed and he texted me that they're running again. So I'll probably do a couple more rounds before it gets dark out. He was just getting dumped when I pulled in. So I don't know how much footage I'm actually gonna get tonight, but I got the drone out and uh, yeah, his dad and grandpa are waiting by the truck and grain cart there. They got the 1486 hooked on the grain cart, which is a pretty good matchup. It's like a 420 bushel grain cart. And then uh, I think the, the tandem, the truck, that holds about 500 bushel. So, I'll just walk along up here a little bit, see if I can get some footage. But as I was saying, we don't, we do not have any wheat harvest for us this year. In fact, the past couple of years, the last time we harvested wheat was back in 21 or 20. And uh, we're actually planning on planting some winter wheat in a couple months from now. So hopefully I'll get a video out of that. Well, hopefully that worked. I put a different memory card in the drone here. I don't know if it actually held the recording or not. I guess I'll find out a little bit later when I go back to the computer. But if not, I got video on my phone. Well, he's moving right along. This field he just had opened up when he was broke down a little bit ago. And uh, yeah, I'd say he will get this one done at least tonight. I was hoping Austin would be able to go for a ride in the 9500. It's been a minute since I've even ridden in one. Uh, Dad used to own one way back in the day when I was just a little bit bigger than Austin. So it's always cool to see old equipment or older equipment. Uh, that's in good shape still. He is currently running, uh, I believe it's a 22 foot wide head on it. Right now I'm walking through his sprayer track. I 
I do have a video of last year's wheat harvest. It's actually of our 9660. I helped the owner who bought that, kind of set up, set him up with that. It was the first time for him running that machine. So it was cool to be part of wheat harvest last year a little bit. And then the year before that, um, I was actually here filming the 9500. So I'll put the links to those two videos at the end of this video if you want to check out last year's harvest of wheat and uh, the year before that. Forgot to mention it's currently July 8th, 24, but uh, yeah, it's been nice and hot out the past few days. And uh, I think he said it's around 15% right now, moisture. But I'll have to double check with one of them. What's it running now? Does he say uh, for moisture at the elevator? bed and I'm like I'm gonna go back over there before you quit because this is probably gonna be the only night yeah. I'm gonna be over here it's rain coming they pushing it back till uh, tomorrow night or uh, I think Wednesday we're supposed to get okay. I think there's a chance tonight but I ain't sure could you see the drone at all were you not paying yeah, attention I could see it somewhat <laughs> Your dad was like, fly right in front of the window. And oh. I'm like, I, I could only get so close.
well, I think this is gonna be a shorter video today, but uh, it was still cool to come check out wheat harvest for a little bit, for an hour or so at least. I don't think they're gonna go too much longer. It's starting to get dark and it's gonna get tough on them. So I'll probably do another tank load and probably call it a night, I'm assuming. But I think that's gonna do it for this video. So be sure to check out the other wheat harvest videos and I'll see you in the next one.